want to start briefly uh, from the beginning if you want from the beginning yes it's such a great like... conversation i didn't want it to be Good. not captured right. <laughs> yes i will so the remodeling <laughs> happened um 12 years ago i uh, just decided to stop drinking and i did um at that time i was I had the success and the money and the business and the family and all that. And it's still, I was still escaping through alcohol. So I find I've done that all my life. I'm very good at escaping, <laughs> but not that you can go anywhere, but I thought <laughs> I was, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so then, um, 10 years ago, my daughter was in a very serious car accident and was got uh, damage to her body, but also her brain. And so within three months, I sold my business and I also started losing weight and quickly lost the 95 pounds. And so, but a new self, <laughs> the self got smaller, happier. Um, and so it was just perfect. It was um, exactly what I needed to do to be able to handle this brain injury, because it was such, such a big ish battle. It was a constant battle, because now she was a different person. And How old is she? Uh, 19. Okay. Oh, that's not yeah. right. Yes, her first year in college. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we, as things progressed and we realized how serious this is, um, and the emotions, she was hurt in the front and the frontal cortex and the back, but the frontal cortex, as you know, is the says no or yes to the impulses that we get. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't have that. So yeah. there was a lot of rage. Um, and total confusion and really she just went through hell and so mm. we together walked through that hell of people not understanding us not understanding strange things we had never imagined coming up in our lives with rage you know and, mm. and violence and lashing out and very strange things and also no help at that time really from the medical community because they really were not it's amazing to think of now but 10 years ago there was really not very much information about brain injury so it was a long long road and at the same time we were in a lawsuit for the damage to her and we ended up going through um three companies there were three insurance companies involved and the last one being mine the company that I worked for represented for 28 years um and uh and it turned into a big fight they did not want to pay what they should pay and uh so we went six years it took six years and we wow. had to fly back and it happened in Hawaii. So we had to fly back and forth there and get all sorts of, of um, specialists, you know, they would get a specialist on their side. So we would have to get the same kind to refute oh, what they were saying and yeah. all that. But yeah, but the point is that through all that, I knew there was a, there was something holding me, providing mm -hmm. a stable ground so yeah. that I could do these things that I would never have thought of battling with a huge company that has all the money in the world and mm -hmm. me, you know? So, yeah. so it was just this constant, no matter how much betrayal, and there was betrayals, spying, you know, videotaping on a secret stuff, you know, it was just like a Hollywood movie. It really yeah. was. Mm -hmm. So, um, but really the point of all that is to say that had I not been changed, remodeled, had I still been the alcoholic, the really heavy person, um, I couldn't have done it. So mm -hmm. I knew all along something was holding. Something had changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so then things, you know, eventually we started getting better after six years with the lawsuit was done and that was a huge relief. Wow. And, and so um, we got through life and I kind of felt like, okay, what, what can I do now? Because there's something that I'm feeling I know is happening and I, I need to think about it and pursue it. So it was during the pandemic. So I had plenty of time, you know, mm -hmm. and also retired now. So I decided I'm going to look into this and try to figure out what's going on. And so were you trying to look at actually, so when you said trying to figure you were, what's happened to me? Is that what you were thinking? You know, let's have a look now. Let's unpack what actually happened. She was so busy right. after, you know, some sort of shift had happened you weren't quite aware of it because you were so plunged into right um life yes right right it's interesting Dealing. how you say that there was this stability there was this ground of being this this um constant yes. there supporting you in a way although there wasn't a you there was this because I recognize that when you say that I'm like oh I recognize that because I had some dealings with them um, my father has dementia and he was in a care home and they would call me all the time. And I just would be like, well, I know how to deal with this. Yes, I just knew yeah. there was some sort of knowing yes. how to yes. deal with it. And, but there was almost an overlay saying, how are you doing all this? Yeah. yeah. So, so then what happened? Yeah. Yeah. So I started looking into non-duality. I had really never heard about it, except I thought that it was those guys who think they're God. And so I said, well, you know, but if someone is going to say that for all these years, then there must be something there for me to look at. So yeah. I found it really interesting, found a teacher on online and um, just picked one I had no idea you know so I just picked one with a name that sounded very you know like like the a standard name and so I thought you know, if somebody just uses their standard name instead of changing their name and this and that then then I think I'll go with them so I did and uh, as it happened I'd gone to a couple of satsangs but um, I just got this feeling it was, I was sitting in the sunshine in the house, but the sun was coming in. And in Oregon, we don't see the sun a lot sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was wonderful. And I just started feeling like something is happening. And I found inside me this utter willingness. And I just fell into that utter willingness to just be, to just whatever comes you know and Surrender. and yeah it was great and and then I saw I could tell what it was my 68th birthday we were going out for dinner just the three of us our little family and uh and so I could see things that I hadn't seen before when we went like I saw my daughter and I like looked at each other across the table and and I could see we both put on our going to dinner faces, you know, <laughs> like we put on the disguise. Okay. This is how you are when you're going to dinner. Yeah. So, so, um, and then on the way home, uh, that's when the event, I don't know what to call it. I don't really like saying waking up because mm -hmm. that sounds like I woke up. I didn't yeah, wake I didn't. up, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. So the event, so we were just driving home. And I saw along this uh, road here, I saw my friend's building and where she works. And suddenly I saw, I, uh, you know, the world changed. I was in this display of, I saw her standing in the door, opening the door and, and trying to shuffle people in. And the people were like in raincoats and hoods and, and old ladies who were trying to to come in from this whatever was terrible and she was helping them and I just said oh that's not real this isn't real so um and then it changed and over here I saw the school and all of a sudden I knew oh my god it's all backwards it's all reversed or inside out everything from birth our children 
the way we raise them, the, the whole thing, the philosophy is wrong, reversed. And I actually felt this like, oh my God, anger, you know, like this. And then, then when I felt that, I said, what? Oh God, oh, don't make it. I hope I didn't lose it now, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then a, a wonderful gift was it didn't change. It didn't stop. It moved into this. Now, now I was in this, it was like my neck got really, 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 I ended yeah. up in this place that was, I think people call it the perfect brilliant stillness is a good way to say it. It was just immense peace and oh, it was wonderful. And I was there for a while and then um and then I looked down and over here there was this it looked like a um a river and then I realized oh it's no no it's not it's something it's clouds you know it's not waves it's clouds storm clouds in a in a line and I said then I realized there's somebody with me and I said oh is that us and I nobody there were no words but there was definitely a scent and uh, you know to that comment and and the feeling of being a little late to a dinner or a party you know just a tiny whiff of that and then we turn to go and then as we turn to go I was suddenly in flying in this beautiful green valley and everything was gorgeous and abundant and it was awesome and I went along this valley and I came up to this building I, and it was strange it was like gray and squat and no windows and it was really kind of unwelcoming and kind of repelling so as I got closer I just knew you know it does huh, I better turn back and then so I turned back and then I woke up in the car and just a few you know a couple miles had gone by and and that was it and I was just absolutely <laughs> stunned I just went home I don't know what I said, but the next morning I woke up and was like, oh, my God, I am in this world now where everybody is. They're not here. They're in this. They have transparent boxes around them. They're living in there. And and I was there. And now I can't, you know, how do I? These are my people and, and they they're in a different world, you know, so. So then that was three years ago. So it was that whole scenario of, of trying to find out what does this mean? Mm. Excuse me, I'm getting dry. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This is fascinating. <laughs> um, so I started looking um, further into, I'm a big reader. I've always been a big reader. So I read several hours a day. And now, since then, I started not having to sleep as much, you know. So mm -hmm. after four or five hours, I would wake up with all this energy yeah. and yeah. have so I could peruse all sorts of books and videos and learn. Um, because I really had no idea at all. You know, I knew by then that that was an awakening, but I didn't know anything else so so it was great in going through oh, lots of lots of lots of books and lots of voices and things like that but there was no way that I could speak anything of, about this at all yeah. in fact I didn't tell my own husband for a couple of years because I could not say the words it, I yeah you can't yeah. verbalize yeah. it yeah <laughs> Yes. Yeah, exactly. But I found I could write. So uh, after about six months, I started writing. And that's been I have many, many, many notebooks now, you know, the what was happening and what was what I was trying to ponder and figure out. But the whole time I, I, I was just in this bliss. Oh, I need to go back a moment. Sorry. Um, so after after the 
event happened, I was not only in this world where they where people didn't seem to to understand at all, um, but it was so fabulous. It was beautiful. You know, everything was so stunning. Amazing. I was everything was like a flower. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that beautiful. You know? Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> yeah. believe how beautiful something is, something you'd yeah. seen before, but now it's so yeah. beautiful. <laughs> why, it is. Yeah, it why is. isn't everybody it looking at this? All in there, and yeah, yeah. And I would be saying to people, "Oh my God, look at that ray of sunshine on the grass," and they would be like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that." Look at the color of that. Oh my God, I've never seen such a beautiful color, you know? Yeah. So, so um, they're really, really wonderful. And that feeling, you know, it, it really has never really left. You know, I might get covered up sometimes by the barbness, you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's still always there and I love it. And so like a perfume, you know, it's just uh -huh. it's just natural. It's just there. It's not caused particularly by anything. It's just there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I guess long story short, I've ended up in a lot of different groups trying to find the resonation of what now it seemed to me because I really when I saw that everything was backwards I believed that to be even spirituality you know how we are doing that and so mm -hmm. without a place to go look though that was where I need uh, that's where I went and then as the voice as I started getting the voice back um it was there was just not resonation in my first group because they were very much about not being the body. And here I am totally, everything's visceral, you know? So how can I say this is yeah. not it, you know? Um, so I left that one. I looked around for people who, who um, felt things like I did, like the body was an integral part of showing me what was going on. And yeah. uh, so then now when I've been to probably five, six, seven different groups and I never really found it, uh, parts of it, but that nobody was as connected to the body, to the feelings of sensations as I was. So now that I've started to speak and um, still, no, still when I say return to the body get out of the head return to the body return to the senses make your home in in your chest feel how that feels because I don't know how else to tell people to not listen and just yeah. be oh what's to experience to, to, yeah. to feel it yeah. rather than think about it or work it yeah. out or what's how does it feel What's true? What's resonating? What's, it's, always, yeah. it's always coming back here, back here, back here. Yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so as I said things to people and and uh, realizing they they don't understand that the the way that it is, it seems to me now is this non duality thing still is not really recognizing now as much as as you would have hoped or thought by now um so so that's when i when i finally heard what you said on a video when you you were saying the the video about bliss and wisdom rather than fear and separation i was like mm -hmm. that's what i've been trying to say oh my gosh that's it <laughs> so that's how i ended up here and oh, I, I really love your work it's great oh it's very, thank you it's very clear and plain and not tied up in this and and now okay I had this happen so now I'm on this and I'm on this mm. path and to me it seems like everyone's path is very individual the everyone is totally unique there actually will never be another person just like you. There couldn't be. 
because of how you're made, you know, you're, you're a unique person. Unique with expression. Ex yeah. Yeah. Expression. Yeah. A persona that you are is very unique. And so I just want to say, like, I read this from Mary Oliver. She's a poet. And she said, tell me, what will you do with your one wild and precious life? When I think, oh, it's perfect. That is perfect. If you know that you're unique, you know, this, you're not just one of the same. You have your universe is different than everyone else's and it's different every moment as you feel yeah. and sense and all that. So if you it's know fresh. that, then, it's just fresh, yeah. isn't it? Just yeah. brand new, just now, yeah. just this, yeah. brand new, yeah. shiny. <laughs> what are you going right. to do? <laughs> yes, right. Like John Aston says, every the extraordinary moment. Yeah. You know, it's exactly yeah. right. Every moment is such a miracle. Breath, yeah, you it's know? pure potential, isn't it? It's just pure potential yeah. in the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, that's why I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> this long story is like, I think that you're, you are saying it. And it's kind of a relief because I like said, you know, I think I might have to be the one to figure out how to say this. And then I yeah. said, oh, you already are. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. lovely. Yeah, it's lovely to hear. It is nice when you recognize yourself. You know, it's mm -hmm. that. Even when you were talking about how you were able to cope in that high demand, you know, that, that situation where it required, um, you know, quite a, quite a focus and quite a intelligence beyond what you you know the capabilities beyond what you sort of felt like you had right you exactly. know and the way you described it I was like oh I see I know that yeah. Yeah, yeah. like so, how um, could I I have no idea how I could have gone through the the original barb that I thought I was could not yes, have gone couldn't have that. done it amazing yeah. how life just configured that Yes, you know, so that you yes. were ready for that event. Yes. You know, yes, you were exactly. capable. And and during it, I had to sublimate the barb because I couldn't react like to a to rage. Yeah. Um, I couldn't react yeah. with fear, pain, anger, none of that. Yeah. I had to, had to stop all that and just empty be vessel. Open. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Open and receiving and yeah. with my arms out. Yeah. you know like yeah. that um yeah because you can't have the push and pull you can't no. ha you can't engage as a separate person with all your stuff yes, <laughs> it would have been like that stuff. it would have been this <laughs> uh -huh. and the couple times that I did you know that's exactly so, right it only and so I had to turn all that attention now to being available yeah. instead of being barb and yeah. so I learned that as I got the training ground. I could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I think that it all, what I'm really saying that all for is because that was also the transformation started and took, took what needed a bit, what got rid of what it didn't need in the barbness stuff. And um, and so it was actually life that just really woke, I would say, woke me up. And then there was the big event, but I, I, all of that needed to happen exactly like that so that I could be worn away. I call it polishing, you know, mm -hmm. um, I'm being polished. And, yeah. and uh, it's not always, of course, <laughs> very wonderful to be polished mm -hmm. but um underneath in underneath you know it's a huge opportunity and when it's done there will be more clarity and so don't fight it don't battle mm -hmm. and that's the other thing that happened was uh as I was working through looking at all these books and stuff a voice came and it said it's not a battle and it said it so calmly and so I almost missed it. And then I yeah, said, Yeah, it's so subtle. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then I said, Oh my gosh, it's not a battle. So 
then I needed to look at every place in me in my life where I battled. And I am, I found, oh, I, I battle all the time. You know, I'm always battling life and people and me and, you know, resisting everything that's happening. Resisting. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's the resistance, so, the, the, yeah, yeah. the push and pull, the, the um, not being, you know, just in that state of allowing there, there isn't the, uh, the push and pull. Right. So like you said, you had to be completely open right. and filterless in a way. Cause once the filters are in, that's when the conditioning plays out. So yeah. you've picked up the mental, physical or emotional, and you're, you're playing with somebody else in that realm. But if you yeah. can just be unfiltered, yes. you can clean those lenses or drop yeah. the lenses. Don't even entertain the lenses. You're yeah. just, you're just here. But that's interesting how you've been able to drop them, but also see yes. that you can clean them at the same time. You can be filterless, but also clean the filters. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting because I tended to, I cleaned my filters. <laughs> you know and this my who is this my but it's a little story we're talking about um I cleaned uh you know I did the work of Baron Katie and all my triggers so that you know there's there's very little to clean because you've cleaned that you recognized who you are which is filterless but it's as if you can then walk in the world and if these any remnants of filters are there, you can see you can see it, and you can yes. clean it off. Yes. So we're yeah. not denying any of that. You know, if it shows up, let's have a quick look. Let's clean it off. Let's yes. just be filterless. But if the filter comes in, let's have a little look and clean it off. So you know, you can be all parts of you. You can, you know, there's no denying anything. You can experience everything, but clearly, awake, alert, fresh. And without yeah. fear. Yeah. Without the fear. Yeah. Um, so like you're saying, like, bring it on. Let's have a look. I was like yeah. that. I was like, what else is there? Let's have a well, look. Don't, <laughs> but in an open, yes. positive way. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But I just wanted to get rid of everything that was false. Once I knew it was false, I wanted to just throw it away. So it, instead of being like, oh, God, this is happening to me. I'm, you much. know, it yeah. was more like, okay, so... Let's look what is being yeah, shown. What else is that? Yeah. And you know, here's the other thing that I that is big to me is that constant, that constant that I felt during the the um huge battle, David and Goliath, you know, me against this huge company. Yeah, corporation. Who who actually I had represented for 28 years. That's like Oh my God, you guys, I have uh, gone on, you know, given my career to you. Money and all this stuff, ways that they could reward me. And then yeah. they turned turned on me. And yeah, and but that anyway. could have really brought up stuff, you know. Oh, that's, yeah. you know, so I just turned yeah. on. That's, uh, you know, that's a super uh, place to, um, you know, for the pain body to rear up <laughs> oh, <laughs> and play absolutely. out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it was, you know, but anyway, so, so I now I just feel exactly like that nothing happens as a coincidence, nothing is coming, I'm not experiencing anything that isn't perfect for mm -hmm. the what's happening now. So yeah. I really feel led, not led, more like I'm just standing back and life is happening and it's fabulous. And in all of its colors, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the whole thing is just wonderful. And I don't feel that it's me. Hello. Ah, oh, you there froze. Yes. Yeah, you froze. Sorry, you said I don't feel like it's me. We froze at that bit. Oh, yes, yes. I just feel like it's this life is being lived through this yes. particular unique body, That's mind, all. organism. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so it's, I'm just watching. And yeah. I also loved it when you just talked about taking the step back, because I have been trying to say that, you know, like, it's a movement. It's, it's like yeah. a movement that you don't, you've never felt before. It's the yeah. attention can be, it 
and it yeah. just comes yeah. back. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the, you can the attention goes to the mental, physical, and emotional, and you have that experience. But it's only this having that experience. Yeah. So it feels like you leave. So people say I've lost it, but yeah. they don't. You're only ever here. You just right. have the experience of losing it. Yes. So um, yes. it's you know, but I understand how once people have are having that experience, it feels very real. So they feel they've lost it. Right. But it's only ever, it's like as if consciousness stretches and has that experience, but it's still sat here, crystal right. clear, pure right. awareness, right. formless. Right. But it's having the experience of whatever the dance is, dance, you know, whatever's playing right. out. Right. Um, but it's when that is believed in, and this is forgotten, <laughs> this uh -huh. is never forgotten. But when, when the experience is happening, people forget. It's almost like hide and seek. The self. It is. It is very you know, much it's now hidden. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I think yeah. it's fascinating that um, you're, you're very clear. Oh, well, good. Yeah. I, I've been, you know, lived through that. Through mm. that. <laughs> through the extremes. And I think that's such a, such a great example for people because... You know, they could say it's like because your life was actually not OK. So there was the, the you know, the dependency on alcohol, even though you're able to function. Um, and then so so that's so interesting. So you just had the thought to give up alcohol. Is that what wow. happened? Yes. Just the thought. Mm -hmm. And it just dropped. It was fairly easy. Yeah. yeah. I really I took myself. Like life made the decision. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I was still, I mean, in business, so I took myself out of state, put myself in a rehab, and uh, I chose one that was a aversion therapy, because I thought, you know, if I, the way to make myself not like this anymore, want this, is to make it so awful, so that's yeah. where I went. And that to worked for you, yeah. Yeah, perfect, it was perfect yeah. for me, Um yeah. But it was And it's me. as if you have you got some sense of um this the wisdom body. I don't know whether you know David um Bingham talks about the five chiefs. It's an Indian philosophy of wisdom and bliss. And then the mental, physical and emotional. And how we embody these vehicles is to you know, the lightest way we can step formless awareness can step into these are all words you know but can step into life and be embodied and experience life the lightest the most fluid way is wisdom and bliss and it seemed like you'd picked up that you were in the wisdom body early on prior to you know these big events that you're talking about you know there was the wisdom to go and to go into rehab there was right. the wisdom that's going to work for me. I'm going to choose yeah. that. Right. You know, there was some very yeah. um, wise decisions. And then through the court cases, you were sat in wisdom because you knew yeah. what to do. Right. And I had that prior to self-realization. I sort of had it through my life. Yeah. I would say I'd have a big decision. And I'd say, well, we'll just go into the body and ask. Yeah. And I'd be like, what? And I'm like, we Perfect. just drop into the body and ask. <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. I That's just always huge. went to the body for the question, for the answer, not yeah. for the head. I just had this sense of dropping into the body, and we'll we'll just see what feels right. Yes. So, yes. so well, you know, for well, anybody watching, if we do if we do share this video, or whether we just keep it for ourselves, it see, for me, I could recognize it seemed like you were in the wisdom body while you were going through that court case. So you'd already you'd already almost stepped a couple of stepped out of mental, physical, and emotional. Not that you couldn't experience it and pick it up. Right. Oh, yeah. But there was enough clarity to, to to be sat in this wisdom. And were you feeling okay at that point? Obviously, you were going through a tremendous thing with your daughter having that quite, mm. you know, very serious accident. Were you, I mean, the amount of suffering that you could have had, were you going through suffering? What was, oh, what was happening for you? It was, it was a slow it walk was. through hell, you know. Okay, but so yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. But at but the same something time, you're able to cope. Right, right. There was something like one of her surgeries, um, 
she developed, she started having a seizure. And so we, we were waiting outside and uh, everybody started running and the ER, the ambulance was coming. And my husband was saying, oh my God, she, she could die. And I just knew, I just said, she's, it won't, she's not dying. This is, that's not how was it knowing. Right. Right. So I could be calm through all that panic. Yeah, that's and the wisdom that body. Was, yeah. Was, yeah. So there was sort of still the effect of you could still experience the panic and the, you know, it was still there, but there was some, there was some with some knowing. Right. Not, right. not somebody who knew, not somebody who said, well, I've got all this information that we're just knowing. It was right. just this calm centered self yeah. that could, yes. that could, that knew when it needed, knew those, those, it's hard to describe, isn't it? it Just is. that knowing in, in the situations, even though it was chaos, there was this knowing that kept you centered, kept right. you okay. Right. Even though there right. was, like you say, times there was just hell breaking out. Yes, right. But there was still a knowing. Yeah, right. that's the wisdom right. body. Yeah. Good. That's good words for that. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So that gave me something to follow to that feeling. Where where do I get that feeling? And so reading those yeah. hundreds of books and stuff, I could find some of the authors I could really fly with. The like feel like, oh, we're just yes, we agree, we agree. And then they'd yeah. say something and I'd say, Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> So that's you know what that is it's like a tuning i say it's like a tuning fork you're tuning so you resonate with their yes. work you think yeah, yeah i get it get it oh no and then you yeah. then you then you move for the next <laughs> resonance and you find it and you think oh here it is and then and then you get what you need and then it drops and then you yeah. go to somebody else. i did exactly the same in my um journey you know and that's why i resonated with david and so I, I, I contacted David Bingham, to, you know, for the final sort of stage of the identification bit for me, because I had a spontaneous just, I was always looking for presence. I was always following Eckhart's um, pointers of, you know, being in the moment, but I was still, I was looking to be in the moment. And then I just had the realization in that state of allowing, like you say, you know, in that place of non-doing, the recognition that I am the presence. Oh, <laughs> and it's that backward <laughs> movement, you know, that backward movement right. into self instead of the forward movement, the attention going out to a seeker, to a world, to separation. I've got to get, I've got to control, I've got to fix, I've got to, um, you know, to this seated. But I didn't know what it was. Like you, you're like, well, what, <laughs> what? <laughs> happened? But I didn't really, but that, that, tuning fork led me to David and you know within a few words it, you know I'd seen through that this that's always been looking through my eyes is the self yes. I just believe this yes. to be the um the story you know yes. the 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 story of Colette right that had been put on top and been believed in you know like you say you're invited as a child into the subject object um you know we're educated into separation Absolutely. at a young age yeah Absolutely. and that's just that's maybe just how it's all who knows well yes i think you yeah. know it's like poison we drip into our baby's mouths you know here you are <laughs> in perfection and and but look yeah. but look at this here's what you're they're really in wonder are. yeah they're in wonder aren't they they're just yeah. At one with life in complete yeah. wonder, you know, when you look into their eyes, they're completely clear. They haven't got the conditioning. They haven't yeah. got, but who knows if it's not, you know, I just, we just don't know how all that, it's just a mystery, really. Yeah. You know, yeah. is that just how the self experiences life? Not knowing? Does it have you to know, completely fall asleep to I, believe in it all and really experience it? I think so, actually. I, I see it as a game of hide and seek. See, where, yeah, that's you know, how David you, Bingham describes it, yeah. Yeah, you come into yeah. this particular unique persona, and that is part of it. You're disguised. That's the joy of it, really, I think, is that you're 
disguised. You're totally wrapped in your role and you play your role. You yeah. play it until death. You'll give your life for it. You'll do anything. Because if you really yeah. knew you were playing a role, you wouldn't do you it. Wouldn't you, invest, you wouldn't be invested in it, would you? Right. You would, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think it's part of the game is you disguise yourself, you live like that, and then somehow you connect with that signal, that something that's always here, and you realize, oh, something, I'm not seeing things correctly. I'm, something is not actually the way that I think it is. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, then the path begins that you... Um, start your way home and you're just going through all these things and still the signal is strong and you and you make your way it's, yeah like going home mm. it's kind of how it mm. feels and then you realize you never left once you right. get there exactly exactly <laughs> yes right right <laughs> and that bit is is can be tricky because people have got to see it themselves so it doesn't matter how many times we point to the fact that you, you know, you, you're only ever it. You, nobody actually wakes up. It's just the right. story. You go through the experience of right. apparently falling asleep and apparently waking up. But you, when you when you realize it, you realize you never left. Yes, exactly. That it's all been yeah. this game held in complete safety. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's the other thing that came through that I didn't realize that I was feeling, but early on, somebody in some group called on me. I don't, I normally don't speak in groups, you know, but um, they called on me and said, why do you think you're not awake? And I said, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm not awake um, mm -hmm. and started talking about the safety and people said, oh my God, how do you? how do you, I can't believe you have safety. And I didn't know how to explain it any more than that. And I realized, oh my gosh, yeah, that is it. That that constant ground is safe. And there's whatever happens to this persona, it doesn't really matter at all, you know? So it's yeah. not that you don't care. It's not that you right. don't care about people. We don't just think, oh, well, there's nobody here anyway, so we don't care. Because right. life cares about life. You know, I questioned right. that. So I was like, so what is actually happening here? You know, life cares about life. Exactly, yes. You know, else I wouldn't be sharing. Because if you see somebody else suffer, I know it's not somebody else. I know it's life going through that. That, But the, but the suffering is real for that individual. It is. Their feet, they're having that experience. Right. So that's exactly. why life cares about that, to, to bring them home. Look. Look, look, right. look. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I think that is yeah. the whole the whole thing is to disguise yeah. yourself and then and then treat to unwind yourself. And yeah. Exactly. And there's nothing better than talking to somebody like you, being able to share the self. Oh, it's sharing. It's just like it's as if the lights are on. It's like, ah, it's really exciting because it's like, oh, there you yeah. are. There, uh, there I am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's been, yeah. People wake up when speaking to them. And when they wake up, it's so exciting because they get it. Yeah. They go, oh, you know, it's this backward, oh, yes. wide awake. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. my goodness. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Yes, yes. Even though sometimes people can get it and then sort of drop it almost immediately, you know. Oh, yes. Because they're yeah. not quite right. They get a glimpse. And it's there and then it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it never is. It's still only a story. So, you know, it's always to see that nobody is actually asleep. Everybody is just life having right. an experience. They are. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, it's fascinating yes. to speak with you. I'm sure you'll go on to help loads of people. I think oh. the fact also that you, you have, you've had the contrast. And I think a lot of people who are going through great suffering it gives them hope that somebody has been through suffering and there's also because a lot of people have this um have the thought you know this is the experience they're having because their only life let's make that clear their only life having this experience but their experience is that um they, i've got too much to wake up i've got too much condition and sometimes that too much is actually a positive because 
the the the, the more intense, the more you just can't cope with it. You can't bear it any longer. Yes. You know, yes. which is, seems like what you went with through your you know you went through with your daughter. Although yeah. you had this wisdom still in place, everybody has. Um, you know, maybe they're just not recognizing it. But um, but you you were able to go through all of that and not get invested, not completely get lost in the game. You right. know, it's very yeah. encouraging That's for people. Because yeah. there was because you can explain it as well. I know maybe the words weren't coming at the beginning and the, the writing. I mean, you must have some great. You know, have you been through your journals and looked at the writing? Or you oh, just... yes. A lot of things that I think people would like to hear. Um, mm. I, I, because, you know, I got into uh, ecstatic poetry and haiku verse, uh, mm. haiku, but not about nature, about this and uh, mm. haiku with uh, three lines and then three more lines. So I call it haiku verse. So I can mm -hmm. talk about that. I think people would enjoy that too. Um, but I do find that that most of the time uh, people aren't really understanding me. You know, with the words that I'm saying are are not ringing to them. And I think it's all because people are so caught in their heads. Yeah. I so it's the right people. You know how it's just that resonance. So when the yeah. right people read it. Yes, so it's just yeah. it's just the right people. So yeah, so it's um I guess it's a matter of sharing it and then seeing who resonates with it if you want to share it, you know, mm -hmm. if that's how life wants to play. Yes, you know, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen yeah. next. Because there's nobody driving it. You know, right. it's in that non doing that the doing happens. Exactly. Um you know, it it's the in the stepping back in the allowing, just like in the in the story of awakening, the story of integration, the story of embodiment is the more we let go of any idea of a doer, the more it just flowers. It just unfolds. It just keeps on keeps on unfolding. It you know? does. It does. It's so stunning. It's uh, every day. There's a little a little something that tells you something, you know, it takes, erases a little bit of you or, or. Um, but even though something. there's no feeling of a you really. Right. So, so right. but, but even, even though the, there's more clarity. Exactly. You know, there's, yeah. More clear, clear seeing. So even though there's a recognition that there is no me, I, my, there is this expression of self that can still have filters, you know, can still experience being filtered, but it knows it's not filtered. Yes. You know, that's the well, thing. The can... clear thing is there is only this. There is only just. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you, as you said, the step back, you can watch as that filter comes up and watch yeah, yeah you go oh what's this it's interesting yeah. isn't it it is it everything is. to me becomes interesting right. so if there's what? a you know if something's happening and i have a if there's a contraction in the body i think oh what's that exactly. yeah 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 so if there's a contraction it's like oh that's interesting because i know there's something there that's mm -hmm. that's that wants to react so I, what is that so if, I, if I'm busy in the moment, I might wait and go, what was that contraction? You know, it's usually going to be control, approval, um, security. You know, it's going to be one of those main things of a that come with separation, come with the idea of separation. So yes. um, you can have a look and what is that? And, and so I go, what is that? But I feel into the body to exactly. explore what is that? It's a contraction. Okay, what's the contraction? So I'm not invested in it. I'm just having a little look. I'm just open to what's there. And it's like, okay, what's the contraction? Ah, it's fear. Now, what would that be? Fear. What, so what's, you know, and then it's just like a little investigation, a little bit like a detective. But there's not an, in, I'm not invested. It's more like playing. Right. Just looking. Um, yeah. It's not, um, I don't have a agenda. I haven't got to get rid of this. I haven't yeah. got to, it's more, like you say, cleaning up. Oh, just just yeah. make that, just wipe that off. Yeah. Right. 
Right, like a smudge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And do you also feel like there's uh, momentum? There's a there's a, a a rightness on as you move through life that it's like like the person got on this train and it just is going 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 and the person gets more and more erased and, oh, and yeah. it's all in hand i definitely felt taken in I've had that. charge yeah. you know just like i had mine it, slightly different mine yeah. was it i was in a tunnel and everything oh. was flashing past me and i there was some awareness it was usually when i went to sleep it would start to happen and there was some awareness that it was just stuff getting rid of yes yeah so i never invested in the stuff i just was this tunnel it was all flashing past it was all yeah. being exactly. being processed and sometimes in the bath i get it when whenever i'm in this so both times i just recognized it now it's so funny when it drops in so it's in that state of allowing. So just before sleep, it would happen because I'm completely let go. And in the bath, because I can't do anything for anybody, I'm in the bath. <laughs> so it's that letting go. that the Either information lands, you know, insights, wisdom, or clearing of stuff. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly, exactly. So, yes, I, I think when those things happen in life, when disruptions come, um, now it seems like I can say, oh, I wonder what that's about. What am I not seeing in this that's causing this reaction? And and yes, I think the body is such a good barometer of yeah. what's happening in the mind. And so yeah. you can see when you're happy and peaceful and then all of a sudden I notice oh my body is doing this yeah oh, what's happening like, believing those thoughts of yeah. oh my god separation it's just ticket yeah. or look how terribly you handled that in the past you know <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's so interesting isn't it you don't have that this is good that is bad you just oh it's like a dance it's like a creation but ah oh, what's it? happening here you know, I'm not saying that you can't get pulled in and you're like, well, hang on a minute. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> there's right. a contraction. There's a thought. There's a the attention is going into mental, physical, emotional. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. we never leave. It's just there's an it starts to become an experience of separation and you spot it and you think, ah, what is that? That's yes. interesting. And yes. you just it's a, it's almost an indication to come home. Yes, bring the attention is. back yeah it is. i exactly. think what's tricky for people watching potentially this if we do share it or for people that you know quite often i talk to that in the game if you're in the game if you're in the mental physical and emotional and you're suffering very hard to mm -hmm. or it appears because you're having this like, intense experience of separation it's hard for them to see that they're there having that experience yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, we don't know yeah. until it until until yeah. It kind of makes itself known, I believe. Yeah. It wasn't so I do think I the did. seeking is the is the it's only ever life anyway. There's nothing other than life here. So the right. seeking is that re ready I'm ready to go home. Right. You know, the seeking energy right. is this isn't right. I'm I'm looking for something else. Yes, because exactly. what I, what's here isn't right. So yes. so there's some, there must be something else, but it can, it can cause a lot of mental suffering, seeking in itself. That, um, but it's the outward projection until until it comes home. It's a relief. Yes. It's like oh my goodness, I'm home. Yeah, uh, and you know when I do these exercises with people, what I tend to do when people ring me up is uh, or you know have a conversation with people, I write down all their you know all their suffering eye thoughts i'm yeah. not there yet why can't i find it so i write them all down while they're talking to me and then i take them to drop them to here you know to just being yes just, just this you know out of the mental physical and emotional into the body into just being resting down to just this this crystal clear moment 
So they're not engaged with them mental, physical, and emotional. And then we start to question these. You know, it's 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 classic that you know self inquiry. Start to question these I thoughts, and they can't find an I. They can't find a sufferer. Can't find a mind. Yeah. Um. Okay. So it's like you're washing. You know, you're washing the. They're seeing the truth over and over again. But what tends to happen is that they see the truth, but then they, 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 because they're they're used to this, this um, rebound, this um, habit of uh, or this experience of mind. They go to the mind to work out how come I wasn't seeing, how come I can't find a mind. They're back in the mental realm, right, right, right. Trying to work out how come I, you know, and so I'm like, okay, back, 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 back. <laughs> Yes. it's dropping yes. them but what I tend to be able to do is see where they are in their bodies and that was very early on for me I was like oh I can see when somebody's in their mind and when they're in their body oh it's quite great. a handy thing it's interesting yes. how we we um the different expressions seem to have different um different ways of um seeing things you know there's a lot goes on that isn't verbal as well I find very much yeah yeah but I can't, I can't quite work out what it is. <laughs> well, there really are no words. I mean, even now, if words do come back and make sense, um, they're still just empty containers that we think are, are actually pointing. True. Yeah. yeah. So let's, can we talk about suffering? Mm-hmm about suffering um you know we have been but i i think um that is also hab habitual that's mm -hmm. how the mind works as oh yeah. we we i suffer but i think if we looked at actually what is suffering what does it look like you there's suffering has now become this huge container where we we name it suffering so we can put it in this container and then we can dismiss it as part of oh yeah that's i'm suffering but we don't ever look to say let's have a am look I, yeah yeah what is am this I suffering and why can suffering really be all this mental physical emotional can it can it really contain all that? Or what if we looked at what exactly is happening when I'm suffering? What's happening yeah. in the body? Yeah. What's happening You're in the speaking my language. <laughs> you're speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I always say to people, okay, so you're having an experience of suffering. We're not denying that. So I'm never right. deny what people are having. But actually, what's actually here <laughs> when we turn and look, when we right. look at the truth? So yes. we're not denying that. But let's have a look. Yeah. And I tend to peel labels away. So like you're saying, if somebody's yeah. going anxiety, so, okay, so let's peel that. We're not saying it's not, you're not experiencing this push and pull, this, this, um, whatever it is, but let's just pull the label back and have a little look. It's amazing how, when we really look, that it dissipates. It you know, does. that was always my ex experience with the work of Byron Katie. And I always drop myself into my body to to do, ask she asks four questions i don't know if you're familiar with it oh yes, she asks, yeah you know yeah, yeah. so but she asked four questions and i used to i used to drop deeper and deeper into the body to answer the questions so i was really answering from wisdom by the end mm -hmm. would question it you know it would just disappear and right. i think it's just when we have a look when we have a look not from the mental realm not from the emotional and the physical you know because that is all that is the experience they're having but actually the reality is there's just space yeah having the it, experience of contraction space having the experience of push and pull of of um you know mental suffering so you know it, it's that walk home again isn't it really it, it is yes that's perfect language there it was uh, just great very clear yeah that's good hmm. yeah so I keep what I've always been writing is let's it's like going back to kindergarten when they said you here's what you need to learn stop look and listen you know and so what if we just did that went back yeah. there and said let's just stop right here stop doing thinking being doing just here and it's like open waiting. 
Mm -hmm. Just let the moment this now be here. And, and, you know, like if we had known that boy, all those years, yeah. <laughs> I could have been enjoying this more, but I understand I could, yeah. it could it the can perfect only journey. just this moment and yeah. just the way it happened is perfect. And the thing is the contrast now, because you recognize the contrast, you know, the suffering, you know, yeah. the, um, the push and pull, you know, the being caught in the mental realm, uh, you know, where we feel like we're just going round and round and round and there's no way out. Um, the contrast of this, just exactly. mind blowing. Just yeah. mind blowing. It's such a relief. Yeah, it is such it's a like relief. Like it can't just be this, and it is literally in the non in the dropping of everything, in the just being here now. Yeah, yeah exactly. without adding anything else on top, with just being, just right, right. just <laughs> like you say, stop. Mm -hmm. stop, just stop and look and listen. You know, I think that the listening too is very, it's tremendous, you know, once you- But it's listening with the entire body, isn't it? Yes, the whole, everything is listening and receiving. Yeah. And, mm, yeah. and it makes the, the whole body, the, the whole thing feels alive. I was waiting for you to say alive. <laughs> I got alive and I was waiting, 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 waiting for alive. Yeah, <laughs> definitely tuning forks here. <laughs> the aliveness is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, because it's just awake. It's just yeah. here, just pure potential. You know, you yes. just feel pure potential. It's like it's just, just, just. Yeah, it's, you can't. It's you can't really word it, but it's just pure potential, ready to, ready to create. You know, ready to. Pew, and mm -hmm. it's you know and if we if we don't filter it what's actually here right, right. Uh, it's right. like wonder is here is. wonderment yes <laughs> yes <laughs> it's yeah. funny isn't it yeah. yes exactly oh, it's, oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely lovely to chat with you it's like i'm chatting to a mirror <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been looking for you for because I really wanted to speak to someone who, you know, it's like, okay, well, I want that group with somebody who understands the words, you know, that, yeah. that I'm trying to say. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But well, that I'd love to, um, is amazing. I'd love to listen to your, um, to, to read some of your um, work as well. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'd love yeah. to send yeah. some. Yeah. Yes. And maybe yeah. I'd love for, you know, if uh, any advice you can give me, it's perfect, wonderful. I love it. Yeah. Any feedback? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love feedback. Yeah. And, so, do yeah. you think you would do a, you don't have any desire to do a YouTube channel and share anything or? Well, you know, I've um, not, I want to be able to, to for the words, I think the, this that that is here is I want so much to be able to say it and um but I was um never first of all I had to battle through that fear of public speaking and how that too came up I didn't even realize that that was still hanging on until somebody asked me to speak and I oh my god no you know, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, so it was hanging around. Yeah, you recognize it. You thought, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what was that about? It was a big reaction. And so, I had to see through that. I'm not sure mm -hmm. that that's all completely gone. It feels like a, it's, you know, the intertwining of that persona is still, still there in some things mm -hmm. when I'm presented with something new or something that I hadn't some anticipated this ever becoming I guess um so and so I did recently speak on someone's channel um I don't I haven't watched it or anything I felt like my words were not not um I'm not sure but, you know it just didn't seem like it was it wasn't like this it wasn't like the resonation it was 
you know, different. So I don't know, but you're giving me the the thought that maybe, you know, if speaking to you, um, maybe there are ways that I could present it a little mm -hmm. bit better, you know, better, you know, and maybe I, the words yeah. will, will come. Yeah. So, or writing or both. I'm actually thinking of writing, trying to write for some publication, like mm -hmm. maybe medium, if mm -hmm. you know of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know of it, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's whatever resonates, whatever opens up. For me, I was just, I never would have thought of doing a YouTube channel at all. It was the furthest thing from, you know. Yeah. Well, you have, um, the, you have already had, in your life, you, you have already had the presence because you've been on camera and you know you're yeah. comfortable with that. So, but I was then, always, it, it's funny though, but the, the persona, the, the Colette character is quite shy. So I would go to work as a model and I would just, it it never felt like it was me. Now that's quite interesting. I look back now and it wasn't, it was just life doing it. Oh, I see. So yes. even choosing to be a model, I didn't really, it wasn't something I pursued. Life just put it put me there. Yeah. You know, I went to London and I was, part of me was going, what are you doing? Part of me was just going to London to be a model. And the other part was going, what are you, you what? can't be a model, what? Oh, yeah. so yes. but there was the momentum had taken over and I was just going you know and then yeah. then I was taken on by an agency and I was saying to them but I've got a job I, got, I was only coming for the day I wasn't really <laughs> expecting to be taken on it was sort of like you know the collect character kicked in then yeah. and then I just thought oh what the hell I'll do it anyway and so I did all of that but I and I used to be on tv and stuff you know in commercials and my friends would say, oh, what's it like being on TV? And I'd go, well, it's not really me. Um, I always had that sense it wasn't me. So it wasn't really, it was, and it's pretty okay. much, you know, That's, what's happening now. Yeah. So with YouTube, it, so at the beginning, it was a bit rocky because I was like, you know, there was that overlaying, that, well, what are you doing? <laughs> why are you, why are you doing this? Right. Why are you sharing this? You know, so to the world, this a little bit of push and pull. You know, I, I can definitely say that it was like, why are you? Go, but there was something, right. and the 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 more I get out of the way, the better the. Uh, so this might be good for you. Okay, this is just clicking in here. The more the person gets out of the way, the more the message, the right message comes through. Yes. Yeah. So there's some there's some way of just allowing what wants to come through and that might be something for you you know just just the whole personality gets out of the way and yeah. just um and just what wants to come through comes through there's no agenda you know there's right. no that's how I thought you know the the YouTube channel the <clears throat> anything any publication or whatever I don't want to have to fall into the trap of you know how many people liked it how many yeah. followers yeah yeah, how, yeah exactly you, know, you don't oh, want that it's sticky it, it is it is it just is. life expressing so it actually there's not importance on you know there's some amazing teachers out there, which I'm just sharing my experience but there's some people who are very good at them they they don't have many followers and you think oh my god they're amazing yes so who knows what it's all about it's all just the yeah you know it's just yeah. well, it's expression. Happened. Don't you think it's just there? It's like awakening the the sense of something else is just arising in the the whole world. Seems like it's waking up. You know, I mm -hmm. like people are starting to to think, uh, feel for themselves, and so mm -hmm. I I feel like there's like a readiness now that we maybe didn't have in the past, sup supposed past. You know, mm -hmm. just in this moment, it seems like there's more, more opening for people if they're if they can just figure out how to get out of the head. But there's definitely more out there for people to see. You know, and more ordinary people enables people to think, oh. If, if you know if they can do it then I could do it. you know there's the potential you haven't got to have gone to India and um 
you know, or meditated all your life. Not there's anything wrong with any of that. I'm right. not saying don't do that. I'm just saying follow your your um, truth, your resonance, what works for you. And it doesn't really matter where you put the body. It's still what's given in this yeah. moment. You know, what you. yeah. It's so funny. I, you know, I had this sensation that we just don't move because we're not really contained in this body. You know, yes. so we're not actually moving anywhere. It's so funny when you sort of, you know, you can you can get on a plane, you can go to somewhere, you can, that's all experiences, but actually you don't go anywhere. It's really hard to explain. Exactly. This changes and and uh, still this yeah. calm, steady. Yeah. Yeah. But you're so, always home. Yeah. No matter where you go, you're always home. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm going to just stop the recording for a minute now. Hold on. Okay.